some kind of artist, I just didn't know what kind. We were all trying to make feminist work. Like, it was just totally impossible for me to keep it out. I read Toby's fanzine, and she was talking about feminism and punk rock in the same sentence. Toby was like, do you know how to play bass? No. Do you want to start a band? <laughs> Toby was like, I think we should ask this girl Kathleen to be the singer. It was making music a voice for a lot of people that hadn't been heard before. Right when Bikini Kill started, right when grunge was like going off the hook, right when Nirvana was exploding, it was a wild scene. Our friend Jen Smith said, you know what we need? We need a girl riot. We just tried to take feminist stuff and then filter it through a punk rock lens. Feminism had been kind of scared of pop culture music. It was really good at protesting it and not good at making it. And so Riot Girl was speaking to people Kurt has a history with Bikini Kill. He came out of feminist art punk. Kurt is like the only person that stuck up for me. She has it in the songs, not being the perfect girl. Like a car accident, you can't look away. But you know what I mean, I mean a good car accident. She would get letters from guys that were like, you need to die. My identity was so wrapped up in my bands that it wasn't really healthy. In the last few years, like why she hasn't been doing more. That's the nature of being a hero, is you don't need help, you're the helper. It was just so much easier on everybody if I just faced what was happening and dealt with it. We were on a mission, whether we got attention or not. Bikini Kill wasn't just the best girl band, they were the best band. I sat down and said, I can't do this anymore. I realized it was affecting the people that I love. It's overwhelming. I was really worried. There's this whole fear someone's gonna say, I don't think so. Other people can think whatever they want, but they should have to stay out of my way. I lied when I said I was done. I knew I wasn't done. 